The point of the daily routine is to give us an actual routine that we can stick to and it tells us when we're going to execute the tasks that we now created based on our projects, that were created based on our goals and so on and so forth. I think you get the picture. This not only tells you what you need to do, it also tells you when you need to do it and it also additionally tells you what types of days you have and gives you another lever that you can play with to optimize your life. So welcome back to part four. Today, we're talking about the daily tracker. By the way, if you're new here, we're building a system on how to optimize and organize your life. This is part four in the mini series. So if you're new, go and watch part one, two, and three, which I will link up here for you, and then come and watch this one. So far, we've covered areas, values, goals, projects and tasks each of those are database that we've implemented in notion so the last level that we were on was tasks that would tell us what we are going to do every day the key important factor that is missing from this is when we are going to execute those tasks and that's where the daily tracker comes in the daily tracker gives you an overview of your day and automatically can create a routine for you and then what we will do we will integrate the tasks from the previous video into this daily tracker already and we know exactly when we are going to execute what and i cannot emphasize how powerful this is it will give you a level of control over your system and your life that will allow you to execute tasks exactly the way you want it when you want it the daily tracker is the core aspect of our whole system is what we're going to interact with every single day and we're going to see our tasks we're going to see when we're going to execute it we can integrate our habits into it our exercises our meal plans and everything else to our daily tracker and this is where i love notion because it allows you to create these templates and everything from before so everything is automatic you don't even need to spend time setting it up every single day you press a button and you're ready to go so without further ado let's get into it so welcome back guys so today we're talking about the daily tracker i got the idea from nicholas crystal's video about his daily routine and man that video blew me away after that video which i will link also down below what i actually did is i looked at my own system and i realized that i know what i need to do but i had no daily routine i had no idea when i should go and execute those things so in this video i'm going to show you how to integrate all of your tasks your habits and anything else that is important to you in your day into your daily routine. We're at that level of granularity that we know what we want to do. But how do we know when we're going to execute them? How do we know that when we sit down to do a task, some other thing is not going to interrupt us? How do we know when we want to do something in our day, we can still have enough time to do our habits and to have free time for our families or our hobbies. That's what the daily tracker does for you. So if you go in the template that I also linked down below and you go to the daily tracker section, you see that we have a specific database called the daily routine. In the daily routine, we have different properties. We'll get to them one by one. But first, we need to figure out what we are going to do in our day and that's why we have a pre-made template for this so if i open this template you will see immediately that this is called a personal day plan you can also have work day plans or holiday work plans or whatever we will get to those in a second but basically what you can see immediately is that your weekly habits are already synced here and filtered by the specific day we will get to that and the specific time slots in your day that you are going to wake up and go to sleep when you are going to do specific creative works or organizational work when you are going to eat or have fun or have a shower or exercise is all created here and of course your daily plan is going to be different to mine depending on what you're going to do in fact even my daily plan changes from one day to another but what this template does is that it gives you a general overview as to what your day is going to look like now let's talk a bit more about this let's just say you wake up at 8 a.m in this example daily plan let's say you go for a morning walk you have your refresh and then you want to start doing some work we actually have two main slots in our day when we are going to execute tasks and yes, these tasks are the same tasks that we created in the previous template tasks database. So it's only logical to pull the specific tasks that we're going to execute on that day into this template and filter it so that when we are going to execute those tasks, we can see it right there and then. As you can see, I've pulled a specific view of the tasks database here into my deep work creative slot where I only do creative work. This is when I shoot videos or I script things or I write a blog post or I do stuff that really needs a lot of brain power and stuff that I need to be in the flow state for. So if you're thinking your heavy lifts should be in this area, you're absolutely right. Your heavy lifts and your deep work 
tasks need to be executed in this slot so that you can have a better, more productive time. It's basically optimized for efficiency. Now I know some of you might work better at night and that's fine. That way you can change your daily plan and still pull the same tasks database and filter it for that time for a different time slot. Similarly, the other time slot that we can do things on is from two to six where I usually after I eat, I'm a bit lazy. I can't be asked to do a lot of heavy lift tasks. So I put a lot of my shallow tasks in this slot and then execute them there. Obviously, we can also have other things. We can have our exercise session, for example, from 12 to 12.45, and then we can have a shower. And if you open these toggles, you can see some tick boxes that are put into these sections. You don't necessarily have to do this. Your day is very different to mine, so you can change this based on what you want to do. But basically, the point is that in your day, you don't want to come and look at everything else that is inside your whole system. You only want to look at the things that are in your daily tracker. So the things that you want to do on a daily basis, you should put in here and you should create your own daily plan based on what you want to do. If you want to have a better idea as to how to create this daily plan for yourself, what times you should allocate to what, it makes sense to go and look at, for example, Nicholas's video or other videos on YouTube, which gives you more examples to work with. But basically what I want to show here is that we can include everything that we've done so far from our projects, tasks and everything into our daily tracker. And this is so, so powerful. In fact, it is so powerful that I, on a daily basis, never even look at my organized and optimized page. I only look at my daily tracker. The way I've set that up is through a dashboard. My dashboard is the simplest dashboard that you can probably think of. It's literally this. There's some links and I've also included this template in the template that I've given to you guys. But basically what it does, it just pulls a specific view of the daily routine. And then based on that, I can come and create my days on the 10th of September, for example, where I'm shooting this video, I can come and see, okay, what I need to do. So the first property is the name of your daily plan. In Notion, every single page that you make in your database needs to have a specific name. And that's why in our daily plan, although we're tracking the actual date of the week using the date property, we need to give it a specific name. And the way I do it for me, I've created a unique identifier and it starts with D, which stands for day. Then it comes the weekday. So for example, D dash Monday dash calendar week. So CW is the calendar week, the calendar week number. This can be 33 and then dash the year. So 2021. So if I want to create a new day, all I have to do is put D dash Sunday dash calendar week of 33 and then dash 2021. And what it, this does, it, it makes this unique because there's only one Sunday in calendar week 33 of 2021. So over time, when you have multiple days, you know exactly they are different from each other. So as you can see here, for example, I have my days from Monday to Sunday for calendar week 33. I also have Monday to Sunday of calendar week 32 and so on and so forth. If you go back, the next property is the day type. Day type depends on what you're going to do in your day. So if you have a work day or a personal day, or shooting or review, a family day or whatever else, you can just do it so that you can know exactly what you're going to do in that day. And it generally gives you an idea. Basically, any day type that you have has to have a specific template attached to it as well. So for example, if I have a day plan of work, personal shooting and review, I have four templates here of work, personal day plan, personal day plan Saturdays, which is when I shoot and personal day plan Sundays is when I do my review. So I have different templates for these day types because the content of that template, the time slots where I'm going to actually execute stuff is going to be different in those days. Then we have a day rating. The day rating is basically a star rating from one to five, and it gives you a very general idea as to how you spend your day. Were you productive? Did you feel like shit? Did you do a lot of things? Did you go out? Were you feeling great? And the good thing about this is as soon as you, for example, attach a daily rating to your day, which you can do every night before you go to sleep, it takes like around 30 seconds, you can immediately come and write something about your day as your daily highlight. This is really good because you can actually look at what you've done in your day. Why did you feel like shit? So you can write things for your future self and tell yourself how you feel. For example, if you had a two star rating, which is not great, you can write here that you had a non-productive day because there was a lot of distractions. There was a lot of people calling you. And over time, later in your weekly review, when you actually look at how you spend your days, you can see that, okay, 
this pattern is emerging a lot. You want to become productive, but people keep calling you or that you get extra tasks that you can't execute. And that way your day rating from four stars comes to two stars. So then you can focus on, for example, finding a solution for that problem. The point of the day rating and the highlights is to give you an idea as to how you are spending your days and tell your future self how you felt on that specific day. You can also use this property as a journal. You can use this property as a daily affirmation. You can use it as um, putting something that you're really gr grateful for and so on and so forth. This is optional again. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. The next property is the week and the weekly review. Leave these empty right now because these will connect to your weekly reviews database that I will explain next week. Also, the related habits relates to your weekly habits database that I will also explain later. But basically, when we relate these things together, what happens is that our day template that we're creating automatically gets filtered by the habits and the tasks and the week of our weekly reviews and our weekly habits. And that is so great because it automatically brings all the information in. So first things first, I have some extra stuff under my daily tracker that you guys don't need to worry about right now. I will probably make videos about this later on if we need to. But for now, just take a look at what these days are. So let's look at the workday plan. So for me, the workday plan includes a different plan than the days that I have more time and I'm at home. So for example, I have to wake up at eight, I have to get to work, I have to do some work tasks. I usually have lunch and then I do a lot of other things till 5 p.m. because it's a nine to five job. And then I come home and afterwards I can actually think about my side hustle. And then here is when I actually include all of my tasks and stuff if I need to execute it. In contrast, if I look at my personal day plan where I don't go to work, for example, I can immediately start working on my side hustle and doing things and this is the amazing thing from the session of 9 till 12 i can see all my tasks that are due for today already filtered here and i'm actually shooting like two three videos today because i'm behind schedule but you can see everything that is filtered here you can see the project that it relates to you can see the area and this is so so good because you can see at one glance what you're focusing on and later at in the afternoon if i want to focus on doing some other things i can see some other tasks that are basically filtered for that time slot and by the way all of the filters and everything will be applied for you. As you see, it says done is not ticked and the due date is on or before today. So all the overdue tasks. So let's say I have a task for 8th of September will also show up here filtered for you. So you know, okay, this task is overdue and I actually need to do it. And if you at any point tick it, it will go away. So you know that you've done that task. Then I've actually taken it to the next level. Let's say I want to exercise. I have an exercise table here as well. So if I want to create a new exercise session for myself, I can track it here. I can say, for example, it's a home workout. Um, the length of it or the focus of it is, for example, I don't know, shoulders or back or whatever. On top of that, I have a time slot for consumption where I sit through courses, my YouTube or anything that I have saved in my second brain and I didn't have time to actually sit and watch, by the way. The knowledge of in the second brain video is also coming. Don't worry about that. But basically, after my organizational work session, I can then, for example, have a buffer as to when I have meetings or when I just chill or clean the house. I have dinner at eight. And for example, I've taken it to the next level. I even track what I specifically eat. So I can, for example, come and choose from the specific list of recipes that I have. Let's say I want to have fajitas. And that automatically brings the total calories and the total proteins that it has for me because I'm tracking and I'm trying to lose weight. So this is the best way for me to track everything. And then, for example, from nine o'clock, I can play some music and then I can have some fun, play some games, go out, social media, or just call to people. Uh, call my parents or friends or family uh, and so on and so forth. But basically, this is very specific for me. What I want to show you is that using this database and using this daily plan, you can know exactly what you want to do. Okay, let's give you an example so you have a better idea as to what this looks like. For example, let's look at Saturday calendar week 31, 2021. We can see that on August 7th, I have a day star of four star and we can see why I had it. So I shot eight intros about organize and optimize series. Happy to push that out. And now going for a massage should be a good day. So basically I had a great day. I shot my videos and uh, my eight intros for this series. And then I went for a massage. Obviously I'm going to feel good about it. I can see my day type was a shooting day. That's why I went and shot eight videos. I can also come down and look at my weekly habits. And you can see that in that day, for example, I completed 
going outside, I exercise, I brushed my teeth twice, I did my meditation. So it's overall a nice, really good day. And I can see, for example, what I exactly did in that day. So I woke up at eight, I washed my face, I brushed, I, I peed, I went, uh, I made my bed, I went for a walk. I refreshed and for example for lunch I can see what I had that day I had a uh, dining out so I went out for dinner and I, I also had for example meatballs and pasta and I had 2100 calories in total and so on and so forth so basically what happens is you can always go back to these and you can see how you spend your days right now don't worry about creating new days. What you need to do is to think about what your daily routine might look like in a given week. This is a normal week, not a week that you're on holiday, not a week that you're away on work or something like that. It's a normal week that you can predict what you're going to do in the seven days. And it's fine if it's not 100% correct. But what you want to do is you want to create a routine that you can stick to. After that, what you want to do when you have that on a, let's say, piece of paper or something, you can come and adjust the daily plan here. You can click on these three dots, click on edit, and then adjust this based on what you want to do. If you're going to change these tasks and stuff, make sure to copy the filters and the sorts, otherwise it won't work. So everything needs to be exactly like I've given it to you here. We'll talk about the weekly habits and how their filters and stuff work later. But basically this template is also using the same self-referential filter type of thing that we were using in the projects and the areas templates. Don't worry too much about it. It's not complicated. It's very, very simple because basically when you create a template like this, it filters it based on the template itself. Now, if next time you go and use this template it will filter it by that specific day that you actually put in there yeah so what you want to do you want to create this and then you can put your different time slots that you have in there and make sure to put some actual to do's under there if you would like to actually keep track of what you're going to do and if one template is not good enough for example you have two or three different types of days in your week so i have four and if that's the case then you can come and click on these three dots click on duplicate and for example you can call the workday plan and then you can come down here adjust it put it to a workday plan this is a template so it will get populated automatically and then adjust your daily plan because we need these daily plans from next week when we're actually going to use them in our weekly reviews when we're actually going to create these days for our following week so that's about it guys i hope this video gave you a clarity as to how this whole system works uh, with the daily tracker i know it might feel a bit complicated but trust me you just need to use it if you use it for a couple of days you will completely understand how it works and how your tasks can automatically get included in your daily routine and then how you can create your daily routines based on your weekly reviews and review how you did the week before and based on that create the next week that's about it uh, if you have any questions leave it below and i'll catch you guys soon peace